Hi, D. Bakamaker here, and I'm coming to you at a moment of my channel's history that is significant. Uh, I'm going to call it the Kilometer Marker because I am close to my first 100 subscribers. And I thank the community of blacksmiths and makers because you are the ones who have built up my channel so far. To commemorate my first 100 subscribers, I decided that I was going to make the now traditional 100 subscriber giveaway item. I could make something simple, small, like uh, a leaf-shaped key fob or a spiral key fob or pendant or something of that nature. But my best success at the forge so far has been in making stake turners. I made one for myself, love using it, made one as a Christmas gift for a friend, and uh, they've turned out great. And I've had some ideas about how I want to even improve what I've already made. So I could make a stake turner. The problem is, stake turners are handed. In other words, they can either be used in the right hand or the left hand. And I thought to myself, well, why couldn't I make something that people who are either right-handed or left-handed could use? So I'm going to be making, for my 100 subscriber giveaway, an ambidextrous stake turner. Two hooks. And hopefully some of the things that I've learned from making the first two, along with some of the other projects that I've done, will go into this. So everything from the time that I started blacksmithing until now is going to go into this stake turner. And hopefully it will produce a product not only that I am proud of, but that the recipient of the prize will enjoy using. So, enjoy the video. Without thinking about it too much, I decided that I was going to cut a slot down the bar that I was using. It's 5 eighths inch square mild steel. Not thinking about it that I should have formed the taper first and then tried to cut the slot, but I didn't have a lot of confidence in my ability to keep a straight line. So I cut the uh, tines first. These will eventually form the hooks, and I cut a lot more than I needed to because I have a tendency to burn my metal. So I figured it would be easier for me to make them really long, cut them back, and then taper them to the final point. And here I'm just bottoming out the cut.
one disadvantage. The one disadvantage of using a little bottle. Not enough gas all the time. I've done two projects with this little bottle, and it's done. And I haven't even finished the third one. Fortunately, it only cost me about $16 to $18 to fill a little bottle, and I have two of them. But right now, at the end of the month, I don't have $16 to $18 per bottle. So, no. that's how sometimes these things go. Uh, I was hoping to get this all done in one video, but uh, obviously without gas I can't forge. So until I can get some more propane, we'll cut it off here. Thank you for watching, and uh, tune in, subscribe, and uh, click that bell to, if you haven't done so already to uh, see what I come up with next time on this particular project. In the meantime, we're going to go to a woodworking project that I've been building for an upcoming play. Until then, like and comment too, and have a good day.